Let's take a moment to focus on number formatting in Excel 2013. So we begin by typing in a number into a cell. I'll just type in 12.34, press enter. And what you should see is a simple 12.34. And what uh, we're on is the general number format. However, if you press this button here in the home tab called, looks like a dollar sign, this here is an accounting number format we see here that there's a dollar sign and if I type in some more values such as uh, 199.199 enter I can actually apply the number format to a, a group of cells or the entire column if I click on B I click on column B and then I click on this little dollar sign here and you see that we have uh, the counting number format uh, apply to this entire column B and everything is nice and aligned accountants love that they like to see that where the uh, decimals are lined up and we have pennies over here on the right now sometimes as we're typing in some other information here I'm just going to type in some random numbers here uh, we we don't necessarily always want that dollar sign there so this is where you highlight some cells and you say I don't want accounting number format I want this to be, hit the drop down box, general. Or if you don't want this to be treated as a, as a number, sometimes you want to force it to become, to be treated as text. So you can choose text here. And of course you can center text and do various things. But again, if you like the accounting format, click that dollar sign. If you don't like that dollar sign symbol, hit this little uh, comma style. So hit the comma style button here and you can see there's no dollar sign. It still lines numbers up but we have no longer have uh, the dollar sign. Alright, so let me just delete all this. I can press uh, delete after highlighting. I can uh, click on the letter, the column B and I can change the formatting to general once again. Now what if I type in the number 0.88 0 0.88 what is that as a percentage if I click on this percent style button or control shift percent sign I'm just gonna click on here this button here 0.88 means 88 percent so if I say if I have a number here um, maybe the number is uh, 2000 2000 and this is 88 percent uh, you can actually find out what 88% of 2000 is by saying equals this amount here I'm clicking on A4 multiplied by this percentage B4 press enter you can see that 88% of 2000 is 1760 we no longer have to write this as 0.88 so 88% that's uh, nice to know that we have that Okay, so I'm going to revert this percentage. Let me just delete this, delete this. I'm going to uh, make this percentage back to a, a number. You can just treat it as a number or a general. I'll make it a number this time. And I'm going to change this number to 3.14159265454. And what happened here? Numbers by default, uh, right now it's set at two decimal places. And some of you might know this as the number pi but if we actually hit the increase decimal button here you can get additional digits of pi and we notice that uh, this here is actually uh, rounded so, so the uh, 3.14159 if you decrease the decimals it becomes a 6 instead of a 5 because we automatically have rounding so you can see there's a various that a number of different formats, there's currency, counting, there's even dates, so you can even stick in some dates there, times, uh, you can even represent numbers as fractions, so it's interesting how this can be written as 3 and 1 seventh, and it changes as you uh, uh, play around with uh, the values, and um, scientific text, there's even more number formats. So if you choose more number formats, it takes you to this format cells window. Now if I alternatively right click, you can also go to format cells and you can see you can do a lot of the same things, perhaps with additional options if you just take a look at this, 
go through these options here and uh, you can even uh, choose some custom formatting as well notice that as you right click format cells you can also play around with uh, the alignment uh, which refers to the angle of the actual text so we have this uh, let me just change this back to uh, a decimal number here let's make this a number and we want to show two decimal places is fine uh, I'm gonna uh, right click format cells we can actually change the angle and alignment. You can make it 26 degrees. Click on OK and you have this diagonal. Let's press Ctrl Z or Ctrl Z to undo. Uh, you can even click on this button here, which is orientation, and change the angle. Right now, this is uh, uh, going by a, a 45 degrees. But once again, if you right click format, you can do even more things. And it's really for you, up, it's up to you to play around with it. You can choose a certain angle. You can go crazy with the fonts, the borders, the fills, and you can have lots of fun with this. So hopefully this, you found this uh, tutorial insightful. You can really uh, spruce up your document by applying some nice formatting.